Hey guys, in this video we're going to cover how to use effects tracks, sends, and groups in Cubase 12. This is a technique that will require some signal routing to send our tracks to a few different outputs or sends, but we'll cover what that means as we go. If you haven't yet, make sure to check out the Mix Console video that we did last time, that way you're familiar with where to find all these tools. To get started, we need to make sure the Mix Console is opened, preferably in a new window, but it's also possible to select it in the bottom zone of Cubase 12. To open the window, go to the Studio menu at the top and select Mix Console. Sends are like inserts in that we can use them to apply effects to a track, but they work slightly differently. With Sends, we basically send part of the signal from multiple tracks together to a new channel, in this case to an effects track. Those signals can be different from the volume levels that we send to the master stereo output, so we may want the unprocessed drums to be at a loud level, but not necessarily apply as much of the send effect to that drum as we might for another instrument. The receiving effects channel then combines everything that's gone through the send and processes it together through a plugin, such as the reverb. The original signal on their respective track still goes unprocessed to the master output without being affected by the send at all. This is what makes it different from doing this on the master channel. Sends are great because we can use a single reverb plugin that sounds the same on all our instruments that we want on it at once, and only one plugin has to run. This also helps bring everything together, rather than using multiple reverb sounds. To be able to use a send, we need to go to the studio menu at the top and select audio connections, switch to the group effects tab, and add an effects track called reverb. I'll make sure it's set to stereo and that the output is set to stereo output, the master output, and that it's not contained within a folder. We can select a reverb effect plugin from the list. The reverb send has to be set up as an effects track rather than an output track with a reverb insert on it. This way it can be routed back to the main stereo output. If we create a stereo output track and a reverb output track, it will sound the same as this option when we're editing, but then when we go to export the project at the end, we'll be stuck with two different output tracks and it won't be able to mix them down, so we'll have two separate files. On each track on the mix console under the send rack, select reverb. Use the reverb button, not the left right underneath, to make sure it's stereo. The bar on the screen gives us the level that we're sending to the send. I'll set the send for the guitar, drums, and synth, and I can adjust the level for them individually. Just make sure to select the on button for the reverb on each channel for it to actually go to the send. Otherwise, it will not be processed. Once it's working, you'll see the level meter on the send show a level, and then you can add the reverb effect. Now on the reverb track, it will receive these signals, and we can use an insert reverb effect. We need to make sure that the plugin is set to 100% wet signal so only the process signal plays back and not what was coming into the send. One last type of signal routing we should consider in the mix console is a track group. A group is basically a channel that allows us to combine a bunch of tracks together and then send that as one output to the master stereo output. Let's see how this can work. Go up to the studio menu and select audio connections. Go to group effects and create a new group called synths. Make sure the output is set to stereo output. Now go to each of our synth tracks and set their output to synths instead of stereo output in the routing rack at the top. Basically, this shouldn't change our mix yet, but it has put all the tracks together. Now we have a common panning and faders as well as insert effects that will apply to all the synthesizers at once. This works a little differently than Ascend, even though it's got some of the similarities in how the signal is set up. In this case, instead of the signal being split to both the send bus and the stereo output, it's only going to the synth bus before it goes to the stereo output, so it completely goes through there first without also taking a direct path.
Thanks for checking out this video on setting up effects tracks, sends, and groups in Cubase 12. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is released. You can also check the video description for social media links to stay up to date on all our new content.